So we had big storms throughout the day yesterday. So lots of rain, <laughs> some wind. So this big branch fell and I have no idea where it came from. Like this, this is pretty significant. I'm glad it's down, but I have no idea where it came from. Which tree? But I'm certainly glad that it's down. It's probably about eight to nine inches in diameter. Wow, and look at all of those twigs there that have fallen. So there's a lot of uh, dead branches over here. <sighs> yeah, it's expensive to get them cleared out. They're all the way up there and you really can't see them. And it's something to think about in future, especially the dead stuff like that. So we've got this one here, which is completely dead and it's leaning. So I worry about that one because one, there's all sorts of branches that are falling, that are breaking and falling off. And two, it's right beside the hydro lines. There's a big branch over there that's just dangling. And this tree here is also dead. So although this is private driveway, <laughs> So it's completely private property. The town is still saying that that tree belongs to them. And this Yeah, we've got water there too in that little thing there. I want to fill that in with that stuff there, which in the areas that are low, so and you can see where they are. So there, there's some water accumulated there too. So Pirates Cove is flooded. This is an area that tends to do this. I'm not sure where the water is coming from, whether it's underground, because it is lower, but there's no indication there that it's coming from any specific place, because that's kind of built up around there, so it may just be accumulation from the rainfall, which will give you an idea of how much there was. Um, so this is a concern for me. Um, I'm thinking maybe we need to raise the road here a little bit. I don't want this to spill over our driveway here. So just from where the shed is, just raising it to about here by another three inches or so. Just to the level of the shed with a little drop over this way. Uh, yeah, so this is just a swimming pool. So this is down again. Yeah, this is down again. I didn't know that the fawn lilies got these berries. You see there again that it's kind of settled. Yeah, so I worry about the pipes, uh, the septic system pipes that comes right across here over to there. Is this just from the deck? Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's not dry inside, but it definitely isn't where it's coming from. Wow. Yeah, see all the marks from the water from the deck. 
So I'll just show you. So the water was coming down here. So it's running down from here and it's making its way there and going all the way down so you can see what it's trapped. I believe there's some water coming down from here too. Yesterday I was trying to figure out where it's coming from and I couldn't. So this, I think I'm going to aim this in a different direction. So I'll have to put something there to hold it in place because I prefer that the water go this way instead of going straight down, which is puddling here and then making its way over there as well. That particular pipe over there, I believe is disconnected because it's making its way all the way down here. And I think what's happened is it disconnected. Nope. Okay, so I don't understand that. It's connected, thank goodness. So I couldn't see water coming out there, but maybe the water isn't getting through. But all the water that came down from here, and it's pretty damp up there, so I suspect there's something up with the eaves. Um, So I think it's made its way down and it's gone over this way and it's just washing all of this off. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe define this area here. So I may do it with rocks just to keep the sand on that side because this is not going to be sand. I'm going to keep it the way it is. I will. Uh, So the water came down this way and then made itself over there. There's some water over here that is going into my garden, which I didn't want. And it looks like two of these blocks, three, have sunk a little bit. So I'll have to lift them and put more limestone underneath. So <laughs> look at this, all the water came this way. It was a torrential rainfall so it's washed some of the sand right off uh, I think we need to top this here that's a root that was the root that was there before so I lined up all of these rocks that clearly I'm gonna need more sand here and over there because it's puddling there where that dark spot is that I fixed this line this has all been washed away. So you can see where all the water was washing off. It was just from there, it was making its way down this way. And now it's established and down the other way, but more so this way. Goodness gracious. So this is low. I thought they had taken out the rock, but they didn't. That's the tip of the rock. They just filled it up with sand. So over here it washed out all the sand and this area just got flooded. I was freaking out. <laughs> so this tends to be a low spot. So whatever's it's coming here and then when it's flooding, it's going down that way. So I don't want weeds to start coming up here. I'm going to ask um, Jason to bring more sand to fill this up. that it's flooding over there and going over to the other side and then washing underneath and it's coming this way boy look at this so it's flooding there coming over this way making its way down this way and washing the sand away Whew, and look at that so yesterday like the water has risen about 10 inches I want to say Oh boy. And one of the rocks fell. 
I hope those are secure. On that rock over there, there was this massive black spider. I think it's a jumping spider there yesterday. We were supposed to get more rain today, but we haven't. And the water came down this way as well and created this rut here. So yesterday I was here and trimmed down or cleaned up that tree and it looks so nice. There are a few branches up here that I can't get to. They're just too high and the extension won't go that high. And I didn't think it was a good idea to get on a ladder or on top of those rocks. Yeah. So I'll see if Joe can reach them. If not, they're fine as is. They're little things that you don't notice unless you're looking straight up. So I think we're gonna need some sand here. Here, fill that up more. We may need bigger boulders over there because I don't think those are gonna stop the water. And I don't know that I want to redirect it that way. I just want to stop the flow coming down. You know from both sides it, my battery is flashing so I'm gonna charge it and I may get started on this or then on the little garden over here but I'm definitely gonna be here this afternoon working um, and there's also water coming from down here but it's going either this way <clears throat> or that way which is fine Yeah, see, everything is just a big mess. Yeah, so I'd like to do this here. I think I'll rake as much as I can of the limestone over to there. And I've got those impatience to put in here. So I think I'll do this today. Uh, there's been no more signs of a wasp's nest here. Which is good. I'll eventually level this out a little bit. Uh, those petunias took a beating from all the rain. I did buy the paint to paint that cobalt. I may also paint those brown vases over there. So we got the, uh, the septic system uh, pumped out. Um, it was pretty full and the, um, the guys that were here checked it, which was really nice of them. So that kind of freaked me out because of course my, my worry was, what if it overflows? They pumped it, thank goodness. So I got the pots back on there and uh, yeah, they are so heavy. I didn't know whether or not I'd be able to, to get it done. Uh, so this garden here is holding up really nicely. Um, I planted another impatient there. This little froggy, what are you doing? Hey, he's so tiny, look at that. And they're all over the place. They seem to like this area here. And then they're down by, um, they're everywhere really that certain places they seem to like more than others um, so over here seems to be a favorite place down by um, by Sparky where I do the new gardens as well uh, like I'll be working there and they start jumping everywhere they're under the rocks their leaves you name it so so this is held out oh 
well, Jason is supposed to grind down that stump, so he said, this is just getting worse. <laughs> so, oh my God. <sighs> Once that stump is gone, I can put up the framing and do the, um, the deck here. It should take me, I would say two to three days. And if I work really diligently, maybe less. We have these lovely impatience here, which we're gonna set on the deck beside the orange chair that we have down there. Uh, but yeah, it's like a jungle. All of these weeds have grown in. So I'm gonna pull them all out when I'm working here and get everything set up. Those blocks I'm probably going to use on the other side over there at the corner just as a step down and run the pipe from the east trough under it over to the other side to get rid of the water because it's an issue. So the garden is looking really, really cute. So lovely. We've got the ferns here and that little fern that I planted at the back is doing quite well but look at this fern so beautiful and the uh, bridal wreath is just gorgeous I have um, that's more like a magenta color there and I have orange um, I have orange impatience here I would have liked to put a few more you know, one, two, three more, but I don't have any more. So those are done. And the color that I do have, look at this. Weeds, weeds. Well, but those are looking beautiful. Just simply beautiful. But I love this little garden. And back there looks so cute. Look at those little uh, hostas in bloom. So gorgeous. Over here, I planted red um, impatience as well. And they're doing nicely in this garden so those hydrangeas I don't see any sign of them blooming this year so I'm gonna have to see what I need to do to yeah there's nothing there coming through what I need to do to uh, get them to bloom 